In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite man beaters right now. A real simple concept. It's going to be good against man, good against zone, out of trips tied in. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. It's free to subscribe. Also, if you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. Link to do that is in the description. Just click the link down below. But PA counter go, this is one of my favorite setups right now. And we're going to revitalize the PA counter go crossing route in this and show you how to really master it. So short side trips, my opinion, is really, really underrated this year. Um, but the setup for this is really simple. You do need outside apprentice, but that's it. You only need outside apprentice. If you don't have outside apprentice, that's really not the end of the world. I'll show you an alternate variation of this. Um, but basically we're going to motion the middle trips receiver across the formation. We're going to put him on a fade or a streak. We're going to drag our tight end, and then we're going to C route this outside receiver. So you see here, this C route. Really good. So we have a high low on the left side, and then we have the crosser. And what you'll see is against man-to-man, -man, this crosser, I mean, Darden's not like the best player in the world, and you see that he's still able um, to be able to beat man-to-man. When you run these clear out routes this year, I think a streak is actually better than a fade this year. Um, I find that these streaks can actually be pretty decent. You'll see right here. Um, see how I just kind of can bomb him? It gives us a read. So if they're going to press coverage and they're not going to shade over top and they're not going to do that, this is a really, really good option. Now, the next thing that we can do is this is going to get them out of press. And they're going to start to shade their coverage, right? They're going to start to shade their coverage over top. They're going to start to shade their coverage maybe outside to stop the C route. And this is going to then open up our underneath quick game here. So we have this little drag to the tight end. That is pretty darn good if you have short and elite. Um, I can't stress enough the importance of having short and elite this year. You really, really, really need to have uh, short and elite, okay? So short and elite. Then also your C route. If your C route doesn't get jammed, normally a really, really good read. If they don't have a third over there, the C route's going to be great read against man, um, and it's going to force them to have to put a third over there on the left side. So now they put a zone over there on the left side and maybe do something like this. And again, you see my tight end crosser um you know if you break a quick tackle it's going to be really really simple but really effective uh, that tight end drag is is really 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 good so now they're gonna have to put a zone over there and then um this kind of leads me to an alternate setup if they are putting zones over there to stop your c route put that outside receiver on a smart routed dig as kind of a check down over the middle now they have to use her the middle and they can't guard your deep crossing route as you can see right there put short and elite on that, even if it doesn't have short and elite. I find that this crossing route is significantly more effective when you're to the short side. Uh, I just, I just, what I've found uh, in testing, I just find it gets open a little bit more consistently that way. Um, if you, yeah, I mean, you can run the C route on the backside. And then um, the other thing you could do with this is you can put this tight end on an in route. It doesn't have to be a drag. It can be a little five yard in, uh, but you know, notice how good this this deep crosser is going to be for you. Now, if they're sending heat, um, you are blocking six, right? So you should have plenty of time. You can hit this crosser. Let me show you something different about this crosser this year. So, like, let's say, let's just say they're sending heat. So they're sending heat. They're going to man up like so. Um, you know, maybe do something like this, okay? Don't worry so much about the C route. Uh, but what I want to show you is... In this example here, they're gonna dive down onto your drag. So they're gonna dive, essentially dive with the tight end. And what you'll see here is if they dive with the tight end, I can throw that right in that little window. Okay, it's a tight little window, but you can make that read this year. Um, so don't be afraid to hit that. You do have a clear out streak, so don't be afraid um, you know, to kind of to, 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 to try to hit that read uh, against a good player. Okay, it's really, really important that we force them you know, to have to, you know, respect the fact that we can throw the ball, you know, over the middle. So, again, this illustration here, I'm going to man my user up on the tight end just to kind of illustrate what would, what, what, what it would be like. And then this guy is going to be kind of a robber over the middle that you see here. And, again, you still have that C route. And they're sitting five, but a lot of times when you do this motion here, um, it can really mess some stuff up just from what they want to do. And then, of course, you set up your pass pro and you see, boom, 
right in that little middle of the field, you can hit that. And if you have short and elite, he's going to light up. He's going to get better separation than what Darden is getting here. Uh, but this is a great little concept. Now, it's also really good against zone. So um, it is great against man, in my opinion. You have three main routes that are really good. And then against zone, um, you're going to be able to hit this crosser for a lot of yards. Um, if you notice this year, this is a little different than last year. So, like, with the crossing route, especially when you bring that pull route all the way over on the field, obviously they're going to have, you know, they're not going to be blitzing a lot of people. Um, if they are blitzing a lot of people, you should be able to hit your, your uh, tight end pretty quick here. So you should be able to hit him, like, right there. If, if they are dropping eight, look how deep this crosser gets down the field this year. It gets down about 40 yards. Last year it only got about 30. This year it just gets deeper uh, from what I've seen. Uh, and so it's going to make it better. So if they are in cover four, which people will run cover four, um, the C route is, uh, or the deep dig is much better against zone than the C route is because there's no pool route on the left. Um, so if you know it's zone, put a smart route to dig out here. But against cover four, you see again, I can throw that earlier, right, than I was able to last year. So, you know, you can hit this... Um, and again, you got to understand if they're going to suck, their user is going to kind of communicate to you. So if their user dives on this tight end route, normally speaking, your crosser should be open. So if you're, if their user is going to dive down on the tight end, right, cut the tight end or whatever you want to call it, they dive down. I can throw that right in that little window right there. Boom. Okay. So really simple concept really really effective uh this year if you get a cover two i want to show you something on the right side or on the left side i'm sorry let's say that you get a cover two call um this c route on the left side is pretty good against cover two just free form it up to the sideline really nice little read so they're probably going to be if they're going to be in zone they're going to be in cover three or cover four and with either one of those coverages they're going to have to make a decision am i going to go guard the tight end or am I going to go guard the deep crosser? If they bite on the tight end route, if they don't bite on the tight end route, then just take the tight end route. So like right there. You can take that tight end easy if they're going to climb with the crosser. Um, you know, but again, we're going to mix this in with everything else we can do from trips tight ends. It's not the only thing, um, you know, that we have at our disposal. But this is a really simple play, and I think it's really, really, really good uh, for man and for zone. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link to do that is in the description of the video. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you guys join the Patreon page.